ready? Turn your microphones on. All right, it's 9 30, the first day of September. We'll call this uh, special session of Central County Commission Court to order. That drink so Larry Holsey, Don Curtis, Danny Chambers, Kenneth Wood, Don Kranz are all present. Item number one, discuss, take action on tax rate and vote on proposed 2016 tax rate. And Brian, I guess you can take yes. a long run with it. I've given each one of you the notice in front of you. Uh, this is prepared consistent with all of our discussions thus far. Uh, and the judge's budget that was filed at the end of July and in all of our budget workshops, we've talked about a five cent increase, which is the 0.46159. Uh, here I've gone ahead and calculated all of the effective and um, rate there for you. Uh, this proposed rate is nothing more than just that proposed. Uh, the final rate will be determined later uh, when we actually do pass the final budget and do the final tax rate. So all we need at this point is just simply to officially approve the proposed rate. I make a motion that we approve the proposed tax rate for tax year 2016. I have a motion by John. And would you specify that rate, Commissioner, please? And that rate would be another. Oh, just 0 0.46. 0 0.46159 per $100 a day. Thank you. I have a motion by John for the proposed property tax rate of 0 0.46159. Second. 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 I have a second by John. Second. Kenneth. Any further questions or discussion? All in favor of said motion. One, two, three, four, five. All in favor. Thank you, gentlemen. Item number two, approved budget transfers. There are none. There are none. We took care of those yesterday. Good deal. All right. If we will, we will uh, now make a motion. All right. Have a motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. Have a second by Don. All in favor? By four, zero against at about 9.33 a.m.
tag is really good insurance, but they've got some quirky little things like they don't have open enrollment on the dental. You can take your health insurance um, and your dental. If you don't uh, sign up for their dental right away, then uh, you just have to wait until they have an open enrollment, which is every couple of years, they said, very vague about when you can get back on your dental. And any kind of maintenance prescription that you take, you have to fill at CBS. So that would cut us out of going to our local pharmacies for maintenance drugs. Yes. So I didn't like that about it. What is the actual increase this year, Susan? Um, versus the Ten point six eight is what <clears throat> it would be with an alternate plan. That's that's not renewing with your same plan. That was just too expensive. That's going down in coverage, and I really hate that. Right. We're going down in coverage. We had some really high claims, right. um, and it's hard to get your coverage back when you give some of it up. But we don't really have any choice. Because so we can't renew at 26%. Employee only, if I'm looking at this right all the way to the bottom where it says current 763 and it will be 962. Is that yeah. correct? Well, um, yes, but we're going to go with the next one over the UHC alternate, uh, the 84528. Um, and, and I would like to stay with uh, our dental carrier because, again, we don't really gain that much by moving dental carriers if we move to United. And I would like to move on our life insurance to Mutual of Omaha because they will, um, it will be easier for people to buy up since we're doing away with our life insurance through the retirement system. If people want to buy up, if we go with 50000 with Mutual of Omaha and then if people want to buy up because we're losing the equivalent of one year salary and life insurance with the retirement system all of our employees are. That's a voluntary buy-up through payroll deduction, right? Mm -hmm. There's some savings to move to Mutual of Omaha. I think it was about $3,500. Mm -hmm. um, you'll get Fifty thousand of benefit with Mutual of Omaha for about thirty-five hundred dollars annually less in employer premium than you're getting for forty thousand dollars with United Healthcare and coverage, um, and then their voluntary options are more affordable and more flexible and higher guarantee issue amounts than than the other carriers. So, and employees don't feel the impact of a life insurance move at all. I mean, you don't have to do new paperwork. It's a really easy move. So why wouldn't you just say 3500 bucks? It would be about $10 per month per employee for 50000 And we were paying 960 for 40000 so. Well, my, my savings was comparing it to the renewal, not to current. I apologize. That's okay. And we eliminate the imputed income issues on right. the W-2. Yes. Because we're capping at a 50. At a 50, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a very good point. that have um, dependent insurance 
uh, for a spouse, it's going to go up about $25 a pay period. For employees with children, it's going to go up about $20 a pay period. And family, it's going to go up $37 a pay period. Would you say that number again for individuals? $10,000? $70352. $70352. Which at our next budget workshop is when we'll need to discuss how we want to deal with that because if you remember correctly, uh, the long standing number that we have budgeted in that line item is a flat 10. And uh, up until this year, we've made that work. And, uh, and that's what the proposed budget has at this point in it as well, it's just that flat 10. So, do we spend the total 10? Uh, we were just a, we were a little bit shy. It was it was really close, but it well. Um, and this my numbers this ten thousand seven hundred three um, fifty two is if everybody takes flexible spending account and they don't do that. So um, I mean it's available if they want it. In the past, that's the way we handled that. We're talking about the number of employees, 129. That's what I see for the most part. Does that give us a rough idea? Um, is that right? I, uh, I pulled that back there on the census. Yeah, that was the count at the census okay. the, at the time that was, okay. it was marketed. It may have fluctuated some since then. Oh. You know, we started this process it does. Right. three months ago. True. Okay. I'm just trying to get a rough idea. I just want to do the best for our employees. I hate to um, go down on our coverage because it's so hard to get it back once you do that. That's what you actually need from us today, and this is the emotion yes. to either to move forward with this or define this? Yes. I have a motion by Larry to go with the sixth recommendation of UHC alternate. Is that correct, right, Larry? Yes. 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 All right. And I have a second for uh, help for insurance across the board. Um, and then it would be a shirt, dental, and mutual of all life. Yes. Okay. I have a motion by Larry. I have a second by Don. Any further questions for these ladies? All in favor said motion. Five, four, zero against. And that's all we have on this agenda. I make motion to adjourn this meeting. I have a motion by Kenneth to adjourn. I make a second. I have a second by Don. All in favor said motion. It's five, four, zero against at 944. It's pretty good, don't it?
shortly. <laughs> we have some meeting notice requirements. We have to put the paper for the meeting notice and stuff. So, I mean, obviously, since we're not doing, we're not going above the effective rate, we don't have to have those two hearings. Right. We just have the hearing before the meeting and knock it out. So, so more streamlined. Yeah. 